Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm still messing with these stupid fenders, doing more um, testing, if you will. So let me turn you around. All right, so I've got my two test panels here. Uh, this is some 3000 grit sand, sandpaper. Um, I was using it yesterday. But I don't want to waste a, a new uh, piece of sandpaper just for um, this test panel. So I'm going to use this section right here, which is pretty good. I, I used the other two on my daughter's car yesterday. I'm also, so we are going to do three different tests today. Um, the first test is going to be what does the new ultra clear uh, coating, what does it look like? Apply it over non-prepped, non-polished paint, and so that's what we have. Uh, no, this section of the fender here. This one. So this one's been coated already in the front. That was where we did a lot of the uh, testing already. Um, but this tape line right here, and over this way, and you can see the uh, grease pen left some etchings in the uh, paint. But I have not polished that section at all. So I want to show you guys what it looks like when you apply the new clear coating to um, a unprepped surface. And what I mean by that is just no polishing. So it's clean, it's clay barred. Um, I also wiped it down with uh, Universal Clean and Prep uh, at one part product to uh, seven parts water. And if you notice, well, shit. We don't have any sun today. It's really overcast. Overcast. If you look here, you can see the damage from that egg. It's pretty bad. So you got a bunch of etchings in there from the acid in the egg. You've got all kinds of other random scratches in here. And so the point of this, the point of this, and you can see all these random scratches here, the point, and I've said that like 10 times, uh, is to show you what filling ability, if any, this product has. Now, I can tell you from experience that it fills a lot um, and it definitely hides a lot of what's there. So I get a lot of questions about this product and people specifically are asking me, will it fill in? I mean, does it take the place of polishing? And I would say kind of is the answer, but I want to show you guys the results so you can make your... Uh, your own judgment uh, on it. So the first thing I'm gonna do, like I said, I've already wiped that down with Universal Clean and Prep, which is sitting right there. Um, and I've wiped these two sections down as well. You can see I, I like caked the coating on on purpose and I just layered it and layered it just super thick and it cured uh, all kinds of uh, lined up so you got to be careful when you apply it to not uh i mean when you when you do it as thick as i did and not caring about how flat i laid it i literally just caked it on and then i did some more testing sanding it which i, I sanded through it i wanted to see how what it was going to take to get through it it took 800 grit uh to, to even be effective at removing that stuff it is hard as a rock guys which is awesome for uh, wash and do smarring and uh, just general scratch resistance. Um, I mean, that's a testament to, you know, the strength of the coating right there. Uh, but anyway, that was just some personal testing I was doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the coating on that surface right there uh, that's never been touched. It's only been cleaned clay barred and then wiped down with universal clean and prep that's it so we're going to put the coating on that panel and um, I'm going to show you what it looks like with no prep and so then you'll be able to base your own uh, opinions on that with these uh, test spots I'm actually going to sand one spot and then I'm going to apply the coating to the sanded spot Matter of fact, um, I made it, may as well just do one. I just only need to do two tests here. Uh, one on unprepped surface and one on uh, sanded surface so that you can see what it looks like. I mean, here's the reality. If you sanded with 3000 grit and got all those scratches out, um, for the most part anyway, 
Uh, I'm guessing after that you wouldn't be able to see much at all and sanding is far easier than polishing But when you're sanding you're removing Generally more material than you would if you're polishing so with that with that all said I'm gonna go ahead and put you on the tripod and get that one coated and sand this one and get it coated So let me get set up for that. And we'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the uh, coating here I've got Applicators here I've got the uh, I got foam and I've got microfiber now both of them have their benefits um, but I feel like I like applying it with the uh, microfiber better seems like I can get a better lay down with that what I like to do is I get a, I have a metal pan right here and I like to pour the coating in the pan and then dab the applicator into that. So what I'm going to do right now so that we have a good before and after and in between. We've got some scratches and that kind of thing in here. There's the old tape line. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to give us a little bit of space here where we can see what's what after we apply it. So I'm going to apply the coating on this side of the fender, this section here, nothing's been done to, and this section, it, it has been coated. So, here we go. Um, the coating will come just like this. This is roughly eight and a half ounces. Um, this is enough. This will be enough to do uh, three full-size cars. So, I pour a little bit of the coating. Uh, into that tray Always put the lid back on because this stuff will harden up on you like a rock uh, These applicators that the kits will come with have a little pocket for your fingers So I just go right in here. You want to wet out the surface. You want it to be wet but not dripping So you can wring it out if you want if you need to dab it, but you just want it to be wet when you apply it so, you want the first coat to be a solid coat, but you want it to be wet. It has to be wet for it to cure properly. You want an even layer all the way across everywhere you're working. Stick it in the nooks and crannies and get it all the way all over all the panels. So there we go. I feel like um, using the microfiber applicator is the best way to go. However, um, I'm going to bring you down real quick. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you use the microfiber applicator. So we, we are really doing three tests here. Um, when you use the microfiber applicator, you do get these lines for sure, but they will self level. You wanna give each coat one hour to, to, to basically set before you apply another coat. If you're in a high heat area, um, you could definitely, or if you're working in higher temperatures, which this has an operating application range from the low end, 40 degrees and up to 100 degrees, but really 55 degrees to about 90 degrees is where you should be applying this stuff. Um, the lower threshold is 40 degrees, nothing colder than that and nothing hotter than 100 degrees. So check your temps uh, when you're looking to apply this stuff. So. You see that it leaves just a little bit of lines. Wow, it's already starting to self-level, which is awesome, and that's exactly what, what you want it to do. Um, you'll also notice the incredible gloss difference. Even though this is still wet, it's, it's super glossy. All right, and so what we're gonna do on this section here, I'll sand that front section and apply it, but on that front section there, we're gonna take this uh, foam applicator, we're gonna get some, uh, some of the good juice on that, okay? Again, you wanna make sure it's not dripping out. Uh, so, we will come over here and we'll apply it to this, just like this. 
like I said, my personal uh, uh, my personal choice for applicator is the uh, the microfiber. I think it it lays it down better. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on here. All right, so. But foam totally works. I mean, you can see you get a finer line. But it will also self-level. But if you look over here already, check this out. Check this out. It's already self-leveled almost, I would not I would say about 80%. It's awesome. All right, so what I'm going to do over here is I got just some water in this bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and, I know that that's drying, but I wanna get it all in one take here. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and sand this with thir uh, 3000 grit. Get a good sand on it. Basically, we're keying it uh, so that, like, if you were going to put clear coat down here, if you were going to literally spray something on this um, at a body shop or whatever, like clear or or whatever, um, you would do the same step to uh, prep the surface to take the uh, clear coat. So use that 3,000 grit there. You can see the material that came off. So we'll just dry it. Just like so. And as soon as it dries, you'll be able to see that it's all sanded. Yeah, that's already starting to self-level as well. All right, see it's all sanded with 3000 grit. Looking good. So, I'm going to put you back on this bad boy so that you can see exactly what's happening. All right, so I'm going to grab the product and the applicator right here, and we're just going to apply it straight over here right on top of this panel that has 3,000 grit sanding marks all over it. You don't want to go too, too heavy, but you got to make sure you put enough material on. It's very important. Um, if not, it's potentially going to give you some rainbow marks in it. I really like applying this stuff with with microfiber the absolute best. Um, the only negative is you can get one car worth of use out of this um, after you're done with your first coat because you want two coats of this stuff for proper build. Uh, once you're done with your first coat, I would stick it into a uh, Ziploc bag to keep the air out of it. Uh, and then an hour later, it should still be fine for you to apply the second coat. Uh, but you're going to use one per car. So the kit's going to come with three applicators and that's all you're going to need. Uh, but that's where we're at. Oh my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> before I show you guys what I'm looking at, I'm going to tell you that I've never sanded a panel and then applied this stuff right on top of that. I just haven't. But let me tell you something. I'm thrilled to death. I'm also going to be able to show you some cool stuff with this uh, microfiber, or I'm sorry, the the foam applicator kind of still left some marks. It's not quite leveled out yet, but look, look at that. That is leveling out awesome over the sanding marks. Oh my God. Goodness gracious. That's the ticket right there. I mean, that is the ticket. Now look at this. All right, that's almost done self-leveling. Looking great. 
Now the whole self-leveling thing takes that full hour. So in that hour between coats, that's when that action is gonna start happening. Um, don't worry about it if you've got any lines in your first coat, just be more careful on the second coat. Um, but as you saw, just soft fluid motions over the panel is all that it will take to get a really nice and even application. Now, did it hide stuff? Yes. Stuff? Man, but I just can't get over what it looks like after having sanded with 3000 grit. Literally, all the scratches that were in the paint are gone. Like, the, the 3000 grit took care of all the minor, minor, minor scratches and left us with this awesome, awesome look. It's still self-leveling. You can see that it's still there. But um, we're gonna give this just a little bit of time. Um, if you'll notice, you don't have those dramatic stroke marks in the microfiber applied areas, but you do have them. They're small and like really deep in the foam applicator section there yes this is essentially three videos i'm doing in one video so just to recap real quick okay now i can see where that egg was it did not cover all of that up but i man i, I feel like if we would have sanded with 3000 grit i mean we can probably i'm gonna do some more testing i could probably go a little i mean you could sand as much as you want sand out all of the defects you want to get out of there and then this can go right on top of it i mean i'm thrilled that i can't even i can't even t i feel like a <laughs> a giddy little kid when i play with this stuff this stuff is truly amazing um obviously you want to wear your own personal protective equipment your ppe which would be these uh rubber gloves which the kit will come with three sets of rubber gloves um, they won't be these. They'll be regular nitrile gloves. Um, so um, it'll be sold in a three car kit in an eight and a half ounce uh, quantity with uh, all the applicators, all of the rubber gloves that you need. The cool, the other cool part about this is you don't have to level it. It self levels and you don't have to worry about high spots or none of that stuff if you apply it like you're supposed to. I am th I'm losing my mind over here, guys. This panel looks damn near perfect underneath. You can't even see, I mean, you can see very few defects in that. And look how nice and like glossy and just smooth everything looks. So um, just to recap real quick, cause we're already 13 minutes into this video. The test here was what does a panel look like after you've applied the new clear coating to it with no polishing? And I'll tell you, it does hide a significant amount of defects without a doubt. Now you've got your nasty scratches that really should have been either sanded or polished out, but man, I'm telling you. Oh, all right, let's not get too excited, Gary Dean. All right, so it does fill it does make the panel look way better if you look you can still see some of the defects but not nearly as many and even where that egg was uh it doesn't look nearly as bad as it did but once you put this stuff on it's never going to go away so whatever's under there is always going to be there unless you sand it down or compound it off and then polish it um, this stuff is sandable. You can sand it. You can polish it just like you can clear coat. You obviously need to pay attention when you're doing it, uh, just like you would with clear coat. But, uh, this will be a higher build than your clear coat is. You can stack it as much as you want. It is self annealing, which means it bonds to itself. So literally if you put the two coats on and then you, you wait 10 years, you literally can just throw another coat of this stuff on and call it a day no real prep um, i have a prep solution i have a soap that i recommend that you wash with and a prep solution that you you'll pre-wipe with uh, and that all comes with the kit but i'm telling you guys 
that is definitely a winner putting it right over an unpolished surface works awesome does it work as good as this no no polishing was done i sanded with 3000 grit and that looks stupid amazing it literally has i mean very few defects in it uh but beyond that look at that it's self-leveled awesome it's still self-leveling -level it's got a little bit of lining le left but if you look at the foam applicator where you remember i did this with microfiber that guy there and i did that with microfiber but the foam area is still streaked up a little bit it also looks like less of the product got on to the surface so my preference for application is microfiber and that's why we're going to supply those microfiber applicators with it um, the other thing is there are microfiber applicators out there that have a piece of plastic right behind it you don't want those don't use them the biggest benefit to this ultra clear coating thing still don't know what to call it um because it's like a clear coat and a coating at the same time so i'm not real sure what we're going to call it yet um but as far as when you apply it you need a good amount of wetness on the surface and those uh microfiber applicators with the plastic behind the microfiber they don't allow for enough wetness now you're not wasting product per se it's fine um you are going to throw the applicator away the applicator is going to have some product in it no problem uh, it is okay that's what has to happen to make that happen so i'm super excited and um i'm also sweating to death this is uh an october 5th day um <laughs> in florida is still 95 degrees and i'm still sweating it is what it is anyway thank you guys so much for watching um, I'm super stoked about the results that I got with this testing. I'm going to continue to test. If you guys have more things you want me to continue to test for you in these videos, leave a comment below or message me directly. My cell phone number is 813-846-4406. If you want to get a hold of some of this, I'm only going to sell this to professional installers uh, that have the ability to wet sand and are very proficient in polishing if you mess this up you do have to either sand or polish it off to remove it it is hard as a rock once it's on there in fact i'm uh doing a little demo for you guys right now it's not quite done um i have uh i put a little bit into a little um little cup and i'm letting it harden so that i can show people how hard this stuff is and how awesome it is and what would be left behind on anything you put it on so i'm super stoked stoked about this it is going to change everything for detailers it is a clear coat that a detailer can apply without a sprayer and you can build it up you can sand it you can polish it wow it's awesome if you guys got questions let me know 813-846-4406 have a great day guys